Hey there guys, the boy Nova here and I thought today let's um, react to PewDiePie reacting to motorhomes um, because why not? <laughs> let's not waste any time, let's just dive straight into it. So the title of it is called One Million Dollar Motorhome. Oh my god, why won't you load? Jane, are you interested in spending a million dollars? No. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah! It sounded like a no. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, man. Why is he so hesitant to get a million dollars, bro? Ken, Ken, if you don't want the money, bro, you know where to find me. Just give me the cash, bro. Give me the cash. Why live in a house when you can live in car for a million dollars? Bro, bro, <laughs> that is not a car, bro. That is a bus. PewDiePie, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. You don't know what's the difference between a car and a bus. Wow, what a deal. Is it that bad? A million yeah, dollars to live in a bus? Yes. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> million dollars to live in a bus. If it was me, I would rather like take the money and I don't know, maybe do some traveling. I mean, think about this, okay? A million dollars bus motorhome, you could get Two G wagons, bro. 400k, 400k. Two G wagons, 800k. Still cheaper than your motorhome. Why would you buy a million dollar motorhome? Waste of money. Maybe this will change your mind because we're touring mm. the futuristic. most futuristic. Futuristic, bro. That is not futuristic, bro. Let me see that again. Okay, I mean. Okay, if you call that future okay it's definitely modern bro like it's more modernized but it's not futuristic bro you know what's futuristic that motorhome is not dude this is futuristic i mean look at that bro i mean look at that can i zoom in how do i zoom in oh there we go okay i mean look at this man this is futuristic how do i oh my god i gotta zoom out again look at this man this is futuristic the staria yeah i mean look at that and now look at this now look at that now look at this now look at that now look at this this just looks like a bus with like a box popping up of like the side you know what this looks like this looks like when the most like attractive person you know has a zit on their head bro and it's just like popping out that's what it looks like bro like i don't like it at all it looks weird for me i need it to be all about symmetry and this one the lines the symmetry is all it's just wrong it's wrong like i'm not spending one million dollars for a freaking zit on a bus bro motorhome built by dumbbell see they already called it the dumbbells bro it's dumb and on the back we have a full size Okay, bro, and okay, if I'm paying a million dollars for a motorhome, right? Okay, that's just a bus. I want a better car, bro. I mean, I know smart cars are basically Mercedes, that's what they say. But I mean, at least give me an A50. Yeah, man, at least give us one of these, bro. One of these, bro. Give us one of these in that $1 million motorhome. Why, why are you giving us like a smart car, bro? Like... Paying a million dollars for a smart car, bruh. It has a car inside the car. <laughs> inside the it has a car inside the car inside the car. That car is another. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see, even the car that he showed, like Pewd showed, like, look, this would be nice in that motorhome. Come on, man, something. Give us something. Like, not a smart car, bro. A smart cars like what, three, four k. It's nothing that one million motorhome. You think about it. It's a scam. Oh it's a scam. My gosh, I love the full size garage. They got like the mini fitting in there. That's cool. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Man, dude, that looks ugly, bro. There's nothing futuristic about that, bro. It just basically looks like you know the Scania trucks at the front, and then they just like chopped up a bus at the back. Yeah, look, man. It, it looks like just one of these, and then they just chopped this up like. Like it was probably like a fuel tank and they just chopped this up and put like a bus at the back. That would probably even cost like the Scania trucks like maybe 200, 300 easy, like 300k. 
But this is a million dollars. It's nuts. It's nuts. It looks like it takes up the entire road here. I think it does. It looks weird as well. I don't know why, but because like you see this wheel is like really close to the front, right? And then these two wheels are in the middle. I just feel that maybe there should be a third wheel or like maybe the wheel, the two wheels should be like further back. Well, that's the thing though. <laughs> like you've driven bigger vehicles, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're American, of course. <laughs> but if you have a big car, you'd think it's like, oh no, I have to like be so careful. It's the opposite. It's like, you, you, you fuckers stick out of my way. <laughs> I'm driving a $1 million bus. Move aside. <laughs> <laughs> Move aside. <laughs> uh, that's literally how rich people feel when they have expensive cars, bro. And you have like a shitty Toyota next to their rich cars. <laughs> but it is like that. Oh man, that reminds me. Peasants. You know, sometimes people tail tailgate you, is that what it's called? Yeah, and you kind of feel bad because you're like, oh, I should probably speed up, but you don't really want to at some point, mm, 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 mm. right? And I always feel like, oh, what a, all right, what do you want? And then you look behind you and there's like three cars and you're like, fuck. But if you have a big vehicle, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. For some yeah. reason, whenever I drove like vans and stuff like that, if there's a big line, I'm like, oh, all right, too bad, guys, sorry. I get what you mean, like when you're in a smaller car, like, in the small car, you feel like the same, equal, but then when you're bigger, like, you feel they should be scared of you, so you don't give a shit. <laughs> no. It comes out! Uh, missiles! What comes out? <laughs> it comes oh. out! Uh, missiles! <laughs> missiles actually yeah man like i was just thinking like the way it comes out it looks like yeah like you know the aircraft with the missiles <laughs> missiles someone going too slow oh jeez that's a slim plate that's a slim plate <laughs> his binoculars out and he can see the next town over <laughs> The grill looks so mean too. It's like a like a alien yeah, very angry or face. Yeah, right. Twelve point eight liter engine V twelve that gets five hundred thirty horsepower. And check this out, Mike. Five hundred thirty horsepower. I guess you need a lot of like horsepower to pull something like this, bro. This is a ginormous whale. Bro. Even though it weighs twenty six tons. Twenty six tons. Twenty six tons. Twenty six. 1417 kilograms 26,000 shit that's a lot that's a lot i mean and maybe for the size of that thing it's great but you know you're not going very far <laughs> you're, not going, yeah, you're gonna be paying so much in gas golly you fill that thing up ridiculous yeah. that's crazy what a hummer does eight or nine miles a gallon right that's right so I'm you're comparing your you compared to a hummer yeah what that's like the worst car ever bro like fuel consumption wise and you're comparing it to the worst gas mileage in the history of the car are you going to compare to that bar low wow you're used to seeing a lot of motorhomes that are a little bit more let's say old school old school check this out it's so elevated from the ground look jesus she got like Wait, how many is that? One, two, three, four, four steps to get into your bus truck motor home. Truck bus, truck bus, bus truck, bus truck, bus truck bus. God damn, you gotta jump down from there. It's like rainy outside and you slip. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ken, why Ken? Why are you cursing the dude, bro? Why are you cursing the dude with a million dollar motor home? Oh my god. You're like three oh. cars high. I just imagine like you slip and you fall and it like plays like the sad music, but it just you just fall for so long. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have side mirrors, it has side cameras. And we're gonna show you guys how that works a, on the interior. There's a mirror this right is... beside that. Liar! Liar! You liar! <laughs> So wide that it can't even fit side mirrors. That's literally the reason. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, probably 100 percent right. Your living room area, and on this side we have two folding chairs. Two folding chairs. Custom design. C custom this bro. It's just a folding chair, bro. It's just a different color. It's not custom design. That's a folding chair. A folding chair is a folding chair. That's your storage compartment that connects all the way to. Damn! Look at all that storage. Wow. <laughs> 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 Yo, this in the motorhome. Oh, love it, man. Love it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this is crazy, and there's nothing. You can't put anything in there. It's not like the the width of it. It's more of like the height of it. Below here, Mikey, we have your hydraulic pumps. Okay. Right next to that is your split air conditioning. Unit. There's nothing very modern about that. That doesn't look very modern. Like, especially these two parts, bro. It, this, it kind of kills your modern vibe, bro. For the entire motorhome. Super cool. Uh, only thing that this thing makes me think of is the maintenance is going to be insane. <laughs> One thing breaks and you're just, oof. <laughs> nah, bro, you have to go back to Mercedes, bro. There's a nice cutout for your keypad, and I cannot show you guys this. I just, this just look like a home alarm system, bro. Oh, but... Wait, a guy said, I can't show you the code, like, bro. Don't worry, we're coming nowhere near that model home, bro. Wow. You can hide away your stairs just That's like... Dude, your code is to hide the stairs. Like, no one's gonna care, bro. It's a code to hide your stairs. Are you dumb, bro? Why can't you show me the code for that then? Pretty cool. Wow. wow. That's pretty Amazing. cool. Hidden stairs. I mean, I was just thinking about how hard he was having to push those keys. He was smacking that thing. I could hear it all the way in the camera. <laughs> I was actually thinking, if you live in like San Francisco or like somewhere really expensive, wouldn't you rather live in this than like the shitty little loft that you will get for that same price? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I guess if you have to buy a house with that much, and if it looks as horrible as that, then yes, maybe a motorhome. But if not, no man. Yeah. Right. Maybe it's not such a bad idea after all. Motorized huh? retractable awning system with LED lighting on it this. It looks cool. Oh my god, bro. What is this, bro? Just when I think the bus truck could get no worse and now it has i don't know what is this it looks like a sailboat now legs, that looks cool super unique yeah and above that is obviously cup like if someone gave me this i would take it i'd be like cool thank you that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> what am i gonna do with it can't fit it anywhere literally like <laughs> you park this imagine thing? going to a campsite with this thing like it would be impossible <laughs> it wouldn't work uh, <laughs> maybe in america it would work but in the europe i don't i don't know i would not want to drive this thing you just get robbed in it. No, but the stairs <laughs> fold in, Ken. What do you mean? Oh, you're right. oh yes. For a million dollars, the stairs fold in. Bro, bro, bro. Just just call me, man. I'll, I'll fold in your stairs for you. For two dollars, bro. For two dollars. And on top of that, you have a secondary motorized. Dude, what? Three and a half. Dude, why? Why? Is it just me that's seeing this? Or why does this look like a giant like underwear like two underwear stuck together bro this model has a small so garage ridiculous. where you can park your smart car oh yes yes i'm paying a million dollars for my motor bus home truck and you give me a smart car you don't even give me a mercedes you give me a smart car which is incredible it's also brand which is incredible I mean, who paid you to say that, bro? Who paid you to say the smart car is good? Live with the same colored theme, like the yeah. rest. Of Dude, this looks like many Koch bins, like Bugatti Chiron, bro. They, yeah, it reminds me of this, bro. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of this. When I see the interior of that smart car, I mean, look, look at this. Now, look at that. Like, look, the colors, bro. The colors. It just, it just feels like. <laughs> It's a Bugatti, bro. It's a Bugatti. Okay, maybe that's why they didn't give you an A45 because it's a Bugatti. It's a motor home. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, does it come with this? I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or go to grocery shopping. Exactly. Yeah. Grocery <laughs> shopping. I would love go grocery shopping with that fucking thing. <laughs> Where would you fit your groceries in that tiny little car? They wouldn't fit anything. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's slow. Oh my god. Oh my god, I would never <laughs> use that. <laughs> Serial killers after you, you're gonna die, Mikey. <laughs> Yo, I like how he thinks, man. The wildest stuff. He reminds me of um Harry from the Sidemen. Like he just says what he wants. Talk about the color palette and kind of like the design elements. Bro, it's of one color. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mostly. It's mostly just white and then red and black. It's many Koshbin's color, bro. Bugatti um, Chiron. Nice, Can we see the fucking inside already? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there is no inside, bro. There is no inside. It has a young vibe to it. You have a Mercedes chassis. A young vibe to it? What What do you mean it has a young vibe to it, bro? 
Like, your motorhome isn't a person, bro. A young vibe. You know, there's probably a lot of young people riding this thing around. I feel yeah. like lots of young whippersnappers <laughs> out there driving this. <laughs> Nobody at my age would buy a million dollar bus, bro. They would buy a hypercar, a supercar, a concept car. What other cars are there? <laughs> I don't know. Raider M Ford of America. <laughs> Soundproof, my god. <laughs> Diesel soundproof. You can hear it. I can still hear the diesel generator. <laughs> he said it had a soundproof chassis, but then the, there's no cover on the bottom of it. It just comes out the bottom. <laughs> I can still hear it. Got your goddamn mouth wet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the campsite so we can stay and enjoy the nature. <laughs> get in the tiny car. We gotta go to the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Take the tiny car. <laughs> gotta get some gas. We gotta get some groceries. <laughs> you guys inside. Final. More stairs. Let's go. Insane. What do we got? Is it worth it? Okay, no, bro. <laughs> One million dollars. No. No. One million dollars. No. I think Sidemen actually got this for one of their shoots. In yacht design. And they're. That's it. It's a yacht. Yeah. yeah it's a Why? yacht. Why? <laughs> Can't you just make it normal looking? Fancy smancy. Fancy smancy. And this is your first slide out, Mikey. You even have some upper cabinets here. Of course, you're built. Oh yes, it's a yacht, and now it's a now it's a plane. The only place I remember that has these cabinets are actually like aircrafts, bro. Like I've never seen it anywhere else. Yeah, I wanna know what it looks like when it's not slid out. Like how much room do you have when it's all in? I thought it was like, not slid out. It's what? just a cozy area for you to sit down and watch your TV since it's on a perfect angle. Now, in front of the seating area, we also have this table that's currently positioned as a coffee table. And you can actually make it adjust it, turn it this way, and have it as a dining table as well. Bro, wait, so it's the same table. You moving it from one place to another transforms it from a coffee table to a dining table. Bro, if that isn't scam, I don't know what is. <laughs> Dinner's getting cold. Shut up. <laughs> you gotta lower the game. <laughs> 30 more minutes. <laughs> this direction to your seating area, and obviously when you're. Looks like they're about to be launched. <laughs> Looks like a rocket ship. Yeah, yeah launched. Yeah, legit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, geez. Gonna they're gonna get crushed. Tiny bit <laughs> here it's leaning back, so you can actually lower this queen size bed all the way down here, and that's your additional. <laughs> you put your enemies there. Yeah. <laughs> Smash them. <laughs> 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 He said smash them. Hey, yo, Ken. Ken, that's kind of sus, you know. He said you want to smash your enemies, bro. I'm in mean, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> so much space here and visibility is great. I'm currently... So I'm never driving this, bro. Like, no matter how much someone's going to pay me, I'm never driving this. I can tell you, like, by the time I learned how to move, I would already probably hit, like, 10 cars. Sitting in the driver's seat. All these seats that we're sitting on, all four seats. They are heated, cooled, and massaged. Massaged? Mas While driving? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah, like literally, like you're, you're gonna be so relaxed that you just put your foot on the gas, the red light, and ba bam, bro, your one million motorhome is a one dollar motorhome. Visibility is great. Drive it then. He just keeps on saying visibility is great, bro. Like, bro, I have a Toyota Prius. The visibility is great as well. I want to see you drive it. It was so fun. Do it. Yeah, man, do it. Of course, these are soft clothes. Check this out. They have. A oh yes, it has your logo, and because of that, it's worth a million dollar. Million dollar cups, guys. Million dollar cups. The best part. <laughs> <is this. laughs> these branded espresso cups. Ooh. It's actually branded. In fact. Yes, bro. It's an LV cup. I'm gonna show more in a bit. Down below the induction. Pulls down pants. <laughs> branded. <laughs> branded pants. <laughs> Oh, a dishwasher. Oh, a branded dishwasher. Why is it like that? That's so cool. You can just like... That's awesome. <laughs> Why is... It's a vertical dishwasher. Like you load it up vertically. Like from down to up. Instead. That's yeah. awesome. Why is someone else right done in? it like that? You gotta... Like... I guess it's like one level the dishwasher and instead of like... I mean for a million dollars, man. Okay, that that's some creative thinking, bro. Creative thinking. You like you usually get... I'll take one level if I can just throw it all in like it's garbage. <laughs> just chuck it in. Look at that. That's awesome. Do you recognize the branding? Oh my, oh my god, bro. Shut up with your branding, bro. Oh, the branding on the knife. Oof. Oh, it's branded. Oh. <laughs> 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 
999 right now. Pop a faucet. There you go. Okay, nice. that's a risk. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, but. Sink. As a big fan of nice sinks. <laughs> it's got a lid on it. That's so cool. Back on. And that's a good detail. Show more that... the sink. What the f is it branded though? Is it branded? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh no. You gotta redo the whole motorhome, bro. Oh my god. Branded towels. Just what you need. Like the rest of the motorhome. This bathroom. Is that a Japanese toilet? I don't know. It looks like it. With the curved walls, LED lit mirror. Well, what was wrong with the toilet paper? They came up with the toilet paper on the handle for a million dollars? <laughs> Wait, wait, what? No branded toilet paper? What is, what is that? It's just stuck, <laughs> stuck in between the toilet paper. <laughs> this is inexcusable. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Looks like they've squished it as well. <laughs> Mikey, what were they thinking? But the branding on... <laughs> Mikey. The, on the towel there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they should have branded the toilet paper. <laughs> yes! I said that as well. Oh my God, bro. I said it before him. When you get ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, what the hell? Dude, he... The, the, what's wrong with him? He's upside down in the mirror. What? Dude, I don't understand. I don't understand why he's upside down in the mirror. Why is he upside down? You can do your makeup over the toilet and drop stuff in it. Yes. <laughs> you have to do your makeup upside down though, bro. Like. With a massive rain head above. Even your shower head. A rain head yeah, off. Exactly okay. good size. Yeah, and it's not small in there either. Go go inside. You're, gonna, you're drowning that yeah. thing. The shower head's like the same yeah, size as the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When they thought about it, everything. And last part, my. They thought about everything. No, they did not. They did not brand your toilet paper. And down below, you have a washer and dryer. Okay. Which is something you gotta have. Wow. Now, now, at the end of this hallway, we gotta show this detail. Remedizio mirrored pocketing door. It's a mirror nice. because you can actually see yourself. It's like a nice Ooh. mirror. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Mirror. That's my favorite part of this motorhome, bro. Like, it's like an invisibility cloak. You see? You see him? You can actually see him. Oh, you don't. Oh, so much better. Oh, hi, Mikey. So, um, and then you nice. say, <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to see him, bro. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, bro. Pull it back, pull it back. I don't want to see your face. I love the mood lighting that they have throughout around the bed setup. You have two massive windows on each side bringing that light. Oh, that's light. a nice TV Again, right there. Heated. And of course, you have your buck screen, automatic shades, black house, everything you need. Mikey, just like the yachts that we've been seeing, they have the same stainless steel reveal detail around this window opening. That what? No branding on the windows. Looks exquisite. Dude, how many do they have back there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're opening a shop, bro. It's a takeover. Like, I like it. I'm not hating on it. A little bit. But, like, what would you use it for? Okay, it's, it. okay I'm not gonna lie. It's cool, but... Yeah, a million dollars, like, no. This, what is it? It's a really nice tour bus, yeah. But it's clearly, like, built as a camping bus with, like, the... This is just too fancy. and It's just, it's just a flex, man. To own this, is it's basically is a flex. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you think this in Germany, Europe would be quite an achievement because most camp police won't allow such a big bus or even on the streets. Like, yeah. All right, Ken, are you sold? One million dollars? One million? Oh, oh, I need two of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want two of them? Ooh. Please. You get one and Mary gets one? <laughs> yep. Let's go on a tour, honey. <laughs> Why would you get two? Like, one for you and one for your wife. When it's a goddamn motorhome, bro, with so many rooms in it. Yeah, you drive yours, I drive mine, yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah. Or maybe if you guys, like, stack it on top of each other, it can be, like, a double decker. Or, like, if you guys, like, you know that towing thing they have in cars? Like, you can tow the two buses together, and then it just becomes, like, a long train. It becomes, like, a train, bro. <laughs> Your motor bus truck home becomes a motor bus truck train home cool. it's a cool it's cool but i don't get it it's been possible. there's gotta be a market for it though They're, they made it and it's, it definitely it is though that there's no market for it dude like this youtube video if you enjoyed smash like and subscribe check out ken and see you in the next one cinnamon Bye -bye. toast ken hey guys so that was the video um would i get a million dollar motor home no way uh for me i'm very into my supercars my hypercars my concept cars so a bus would not be on the list at all closest thing that maybe to a bus that i would probably get maybe hummer or maybe a g-wagon okay maybe a hummer maybe a g-wagon but never 
a bus, bro. For a million dollars, no. Not even a party bus, bro. Not even a party bus. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like it, subscribe, like, comment. These three things, just do it. If you like it, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, peace. Yo, what are you doing, man? Like, are you for real? If you're gonna buy a motorhome, bro, for a million dollars, just give it to me, man. Give it to me. Just donate it. Donate it to me. Donate it to India. Donate it to charity. Donate it to me. Peace, bye.